Should you crop your Doberman's ears or dock his tail? That's what we're going to talk about today. Gross, the Doberman. Pincher. Now, I know you probably expect, by looking at Cruz here, uh, that I would say yes, that you always should crop and dock your tails. But that's not what I'm going to say. What I'm going to say is that it's up to the owner and it's up to your sensibilities and it's up to the purpose uh, that you have this dog for so Cruz is five years old he's a Doberman Pinscher uh, we live in West Virginia uh, where we frequently use this side by side to follow him as he runs through the mountains so that's his story that's his life and that's where he is now he is not a show dog he's not uh, I don't have him we don't have him for any kind of AKC shows. He's never been in any kind of dog show, even though he has the lineage of uh, award-winning show dogs. That's not his life, and that's not what he's here for. Now, he was cropped and docked before we got him. It wasn't something we got a decision about. We didn't even know him when it happened, and that's his life. You can see he's, he's got a thing on his head right there where he, um, you don't want me to touch it. We don't know how I got it. We went on a run. We followed him on the side by side and he came back with it. The reasoning most people give for cropping and docking their tails is injury. Uh, that uh, these, these ears could be bit in a dog fight or, or have some kind of problems and he have infection uh, later on. Uh, or that the tail uh, would be injured in uh, uh, running or... <laughs> I know, I know I'm supposed to be paying attention to you. So, and that it would cause infection and problems later on. Now, if you have a dog that, uh, you know, is, is gonna be defending something or fighting or doing something on a regular basis, which I don't recommend, that would just be crazy talk. I, I can see your reasoning for that. But now, if I had it to do over, and if, if it were my choice to begin with, I probably wouldn't crop his ears. Now, Caress is going to disagree with me because it is a Doberman look. It gives him that classic look, and, and AKC says it's the identity of the breed. Here's another biggest argument people have for the ears is saying that uh, ear infections. Uh, that dogs that don't have their ears cropped have more ear infections because they trap water inside those folds of the ears and cause ear infections. I don't know that to be true because I've never had a Doberman without an ear cropping, but I have noticed him scratching at his ears more often than I would expect uh, for a normal dog to do, and I, I believe it's because of the crop. And we've had a few problems out of his ears that we had to get him some drops. Everybody, get a thing on your head. It's going to grow back white. I know it will. At one time, we had a Labrador retriever named Octavian who kept yeast infections in his ear all the time, and he wasn't cropped. So, that's the thing with the ears. Now, it's also been known to cause some disorders when the vet does it wrong. Sometimes they crop a little bit too far, and they get into the cartilage in the harder areas of the ear. Same thing with the tail. Uh, that they get down a little too far and cause it pain. They also, when the, they're very, very small puppies, they don't give them anesthesia to do this with the reasoning that they, will, they won't remember it, that it'll be too, they'll be too small and that they won't remember it happening. I think he should at least be given anesthesia at any age, whether he remembers it or not. It's still the pain and suffering you go through at the moment. It doesn't matter if I remember it. Uh, I still don't want to hurt. So... It's all up to you and what you need the breed for. If you're gonna have this dog to sit around the couch, you're gonna have him just to be your buddy and to hang out with and to go running, I would say don't crop anything. They say that they use the tail a lot for communication. You can see he uses ears a lot for communication. He's communicating now that he's he's intent on something. He sees something. See those, those ears pointing? So they, they use the ears to do a lot of different things. They use the tail to do a lot of communication and for somewhat for balance. So if you're not gonna be have him in, in an area where he would be fighting a lot. Whew, don't do that anyway, but I, I, don't, I don't recommend cropping or docking. Now, most American Dobermans are cropped and docked that are in shows. Uh, it seems to give an advantage because almost all of the winners are cropped and docked because that's the identity of the breed as per the AKC. If you're going to have them in shows, you pretty much you don't have a lot of a choice if you want to win you have them cropped and docked but they are saying a lot more of showing up natural 
And I think that'll be the, the trend uh, with the new sensibilities of America that I believe that uh, it'll go to a more natural look. Now the cropping and docking has been outlawed in European uh, Dobermans. Uh, the UK and many other European countries have banned cropping and docking altogether. Now there have been a few states in America who have proposed legislation uh, to ban cropping and docking, but it hasn't happened yet. I'm not sure if it ever will. This guy is just a big baby. So I believe Chris would still have him cropped and docked for the factor that he looks really good, but I guess aesthetics are not as important to me as, as they are to her. And uh, I wouldn't have it done. Because he's just a big baby.